Okay, guys. I'm a little scared of what I'm about to show you today, but uh, it must be done. Okay, I, I get. <laughs> <laughs> I look beautiful. I've never looked better. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here in French Burg. Oh, why do I look like this? So I decided for today we would go and work for five minutes and try to build a house with that money that I make. However, I have to follow all of the traffic laws, the traffic rules of Blockburg. So that means I cannot cut any corners. So if I'm like driving right here, I cannot go through, cannot go through the grass to, to the other side of the road. Um, I have to stop at all stop signs. And if it's a red light, I have to stop. We shall see how this goes. Um, age I am right now. Am I a teen or am I a kid? Because this is, I'm a teen, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, we're here at the delivery person job. Okay. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Go, 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 go. Quick, grab the pizza. Go, go, go. Oh my god, it's a red light. Oh, it's a green light. Oh my gosh. Okay. We can make a left here. Make sure my mood is great. I'm gonna take full advantage of this. You're allowed to boost your mood if you like. There's no rules except following traffic laws. That's it. Oh my gosh. Hurry up. Okay, wait, we have five minutes. Why am I in a hurry for? First customer, 3068. So let's keep on going. Like you guys can't hear the in-game sounds because this moped. After driving it for so long, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of annoying. Oh, it's a red light. I gotta stop. Well, you can turn right on a red light, by the way, if it's clear and if there's no sign there. So yeah, guys, I know how to drive. I have my driver's license, so you can turn right on a red light. All right. I'll stop though for a little bit and then I'll go. <laughs> Sorry, that's the traffic laws. You can turn right on a red light. All right. There's our second customer. So I'm turning around and it is a green light here. So I have to keep going and go faster. No, it's yellow. It's okay. Okay. Now, um... I can't make a left turn here. I have to stop here. <laughs> I have to stop. Oh, I have to stop. Okay, wait, this is not as bad as I expected. You hurry up, red light. I'm I'm not having it right now. So two minutes and 30 seconds in, $9,000, not too shabby. I tend to underestimate how much I'm going to spend and go a little over, so that's a problem. All right, so, oh, yay, just in time, I turned green. All right, so we can go straight here to our very next customer. I'm surprised there's no stop signs. I had to... I didn't have to go to any stop signs. All right, boom, 12,000 within three minutes. Let's keep on going. La la la, can that light stay green? Can that, no! Okay, wait, by the time I get there, it'll be almost green again, watch. Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'll stop. Yes, it's gonna be green again soon, I can't wait. Green, 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 green. No, it's not green, what's green? Oh, that one's green. Can you hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> wait, this is the longest red light ever. Please, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That wasted a good couple seconds, several seconds. Oh my gosh. If I'm following traffic laws, is it okay for me to make a U-turn like this? I only have to follow the traffic lights. The traffic lights and signs, that's it. Okay, we have to make a left. So we must wait on this red light yet again. And it's almost five minutes, $15,000. Uh, if they had a left arrow signal, then I could turn, but they don't have a left arrow signal on the traffic lights, so whatever. Oh yeah, this is definitely my last one. Oh my god, oh my god, I might not even make it. I might not even make it! Go faster! Eight, nine, three. I made it, I made it, I made it. Okay, so we have made, <laughs> we have made $18,412 within five minutes. So let me go ahead and write that down. That's not too bad at all. You, people can actually make a pretty decent house with that money. So I'm happy with that, I will not complain. Right now I have 876,076. 876,076 dollars minus the 8, 18,412. We have to stop at around 857,664. Now we must decide the layout of our house and I actually have to make sure that my automatically pay bills option is off so that way I don't lose any money and like mess up this entire thing. So that's off. So that's good. All right. Okay. So I'm looking at uh, some house layouts because my brain can't think of one at the moment, but I really like this. This one. I like the layout of it. A little mini foyer right here. You walk through your kitchens just in a, you know, in a line basically. Your dining room's here, your living room's there, your bedroom, and then bathrooms, right? This will be the bathroom right here, by the way. It's gonna be a kind of a long bathroom, but this is what we need, right? So you have your shower area will be there, and then a sink and a toilet or flipped around, whatever. So there's that. The thing is, I don't see like the roof and how it's done, so it's gonna be really weird. Okay, I might have to make some changes. But I do like this idea of the front door area here. How do you roof this? How do you roof this? How do you roof this? Oh my god. 
Oh, because it looks... Okay, so this house actually looks better like this. Honestly, it does look better this way than this way. Like, if the front was this way, what the heck is that? Like, what's... I actually have to flip the house around. Okay, I flipped the entire house around, and honestly... Honestly, I think this is better. It's a lot better. <gasps> it is better. So I'm also gonna add some pillars. Uh, should I do some small ones? Let's do the small ones. Let's save some money. I need some exterior upgrades here. There you go. It's not as boring anymore. If you make the road, if you make the pathway like that, it's not that boring. I kind of want the grass back. Not gonna lie, doing this in the snow, a little bit weird. Um, I'm gonna need my grass back. So basically the house from the front is okay. This side's pretty good too. But if you go to this side and this side, it is very bad. It is quite bad. I think most of the rooms will be hurricane gray and the bathroom of course will be tiles. Very easy to clean. You could have wood in your bathroom too, like wooden floors. Okay, so the inside, we don't have to really... I don't mind. Let's just use the plain doors. We can probably texture them to make them look a little bit better. But we're going to go with the plain doors to save a bit of money. I don't want to spend that much. I don't want to overspend. What kind of house is this? What kind of house is this? It's definitely a weirder one. It's definitely a strange one. Now, I kind of want to separate this and... I want to separate this. I want to make a mini foyer, like right here. This is the foyer. Oh yeah, for yeah. I'm gonna be cheap though. Like I actually want to be careful, so I'm gonna put the simple sofa there, or we could have the contemporary one, just for a bit of more style. I'm actually gonna use a TV stand. I'm not even gonna put it on the wall. We're gonna use a TV stand, and then let's get the TV that's not that big. This one, the you slip. We could have some carpet. The carpet's very cheap anyway. That look more luxury by texturing and coloring it differently. We're gonna make our own little entertainment center. So we have the bookshelves on each side of the TV, and then we could have a nice shelf right in the middle. And we're gonna have to extend that a bit. Then what I'm thinking, you have that little floor lamp in the corner there, like a nice little, nice little floor lamp. Not that one. Look at that. That's cute. That's very cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swap to the bathroom now, and then we're going to block that off with a wall perhaps, and then make that like a glass door type thing. Do the toilet here, and then a sink can go... Actually, it could be the other way around. So we might do that. We might actually do that instead. We might just put the door in the foyer area. This is all the basics right now. I'm just trying to get a good basic layout going. Nice fabric for my floor. <laughs> okay, let's get some lighting going. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of money. I'm gonna run out of money if I keep using that light. We're gonna save some money, so I'm gonna combine two modern beds together because it is technically cheaper than buying a double bed. There you go. Woo! Okay, cool. We still have a lot more to go. We still have until 857,000, so we'll have a bit of cash. Very good space filler. I'm gonna make that a carpet too. Trash can here. Uh, oh yeah, we need a sink. Hold on, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not done with the kitchen yet. I haven't even started really. Okay, appliances, let's get a coffee maker there. Oh gosh, okay. Color, we just need to color, 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 planks, planks. Coloring doesn't cost that much, thankfully. Make everything else brown. Like all the pillars can be brown. I might end up making the windows brown too. I like it in a way. It's very like uh it's very uniformed, I would say. This house is very uniform. Go. Ooh, I kinda like that. I kinda like it. It is a house. It definitely looks <laughs> it's starting to remind me of a, a Blockburg starter house. It looks like something you would see as a Blockburg starter house. Lord, it is. Oh god, there's not many windows on this side of the house. I have to add some over here. I'm gonna add two more there. Okay, I have to color the inside of the house and everything. Like, I have to texture the inside still. Oh my god, it is starter house vibes. There's no, there's no, like, actual plant life in here. I need some plants. I'm gonna put a random plant in the corner there. I'm gonna put a plant on the table. Random plant by the door. You just, you just gotta have your token plant. How much do I need? Okay, 857,664. So we have quite the amount of money to spend on decorating. I think the rest of the money has to be on coloring and texturing and coloring. None of them are really cheap, to be honest. If I, if I bought a painting right now, it would be basically the rest of the money. I need to... Now, 669. Ew, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. If someone didn't care about how their house looked and they just wanted a place to, to live in, this would be it, right? This would be it. Look at that. Good starter home. Definitely not enough money to put a chimney on there as I was expecting, but we are at our limit basically now with like basically like $10, $20 left, but here's our house. <laughs> here's our house. Here is a tour of the house that I built using um, money that I worked for in five minutes following only the traffic laws. So there was a bit of challenge there. It is a good um, $16,000. Uh, here's what the front looks like. My favorite part is the front. This side's actually pretty decent as well. 
there's the side, here's the back of the home, and then here's this side, which is the worst by far. Um, you walk on in, here's a little foyer area, kitchen, everything you need. You got a microwave, coffee maker at least. No blender though. Um, this is your dining area. And then your living room's here, you know? Very nice. I forgot a coffee table. I should have added a coffee table, but you know what? At least there's more walking space. Think optimistically. And then, um, and here's the bedroom, which once again has everything you need. It is very lacking in terms of decoration, but it is a home once again where you can live in it. It is a fully functional house, at least. I wish I could add it at least a couple paintings and such, or maybe some more plants. But, you know, with the limit we had, it is uh, pretty decent. I like it. It turned out great. But anyway, that will wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it dumb, inspiring in a way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too, because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time every day to watch this, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great day. Eat a bread, signing out. Goodbye, everybody.